People of the realm, season 6 of HBO's Game of Thrones is over, and boy did it go out with an almighty bang. Secrets were revealed, the mountain got jiggy, and plenty of people died. This video will discuss one such revelation, Jon Snow's mother has finally been revealed, and her name is Lyanna. For the love of God, Ned, promise her. Westerosi and his saucy. Sit on your ears and perk up your ears, for today we celebrate a fantastic end to the season. Lyanne Stark is Jon Snow's true mother, as shown through the eyes of the three eyed raven Bron Stark, who has discovered the true power of the TARDIS. Now that we know the bastard of Winterfell is Ned's nephew and not his son, as we were led to believe, but the question is, when will this half-Stark be revealed as the secret Targaryen we all know him to be? For many a year, the most popular theory for Jon's parentage has been R plus L equals J, and it appears as if the show is certainly heading that way. For those not familiar with this theory, allow me to quickly educate you. Years before Game of Thrones begins, there is a tale of how Robert Baratheon, his best friend and his mentor, battled the Mad King for the Iron Throne. This is known as Robert's Rebellion. Stag, Wolf, Trout and Falcon versus the Dragon, the Sunspear and the Rose. We all know the Mad King lost his life to Jaime Lannister. We know his son Rhaegar was slain on the Trident by Robert Baratheon, who caved in his chest with a blow from his mighty Warhammer. Armory Lodge slew young Princess Rhaenys, stabbing her over 50 times, whilst Gregor Clegane smashed the head of Aegon against the wall, killing him. With her child's blood on his hands, the mountain then raped Rhaegar's wife, Elia Martell, then ended her by crushing her head with his bare hands. I tell you these things not to shock or scare, but so you know that no matter what side of the family you look at, Stark or Targaryen, if you are half-brother or half-sister to Jon Snow, then you better watch your back. Now that you know how it ended, now you must understand how it all began. Robert Baratheon had been betrothed to Lyanna Stark, sister of his best friend Eddard. It would appear that Robert loved Lyanna, but the feeling wasn't exactly mutual. During the tourney of Harrenhal, Rhaegar after winning the tournament, bypassed his own wife to present the crown of love and beauty to Lyanna Stark. And that is where the seeds of war were truly sown. Now full to the brim, the powder keg was ready to blow, and the match that lit this particular fuse was the supposed kidnapping of Lyanna Stark by Rhaegar Targaryen, and the subsequent murder of Rickard and Brandon Stark by his father, the Mad King. The war raged on and eventually the Targaryens were defeated, with Viserys and Daenerys being smuggled away to safety. And that left one last Targaryen, and he was at the Tower of Joy. So I surmise that Rhaegar, as is custom with some Targaryens, took Lyanna as a second wife, and that the child that would become Jon Snow was a result of this union. Get us some water. Oh, no, what did you Is there a minister? With the King's Guard and Lyanna dead, Honourable Ned had little choice. He returns to Sword Dawn to the Danes in Starfall, then heads north to Winterfell where he passed Jon off as his own war bastards. Now that the TV show has revealed this, what next? His Aunt Daenerys is on her way back to conquer the Seven Kingdoms, not knowing that her nephew 
Jon Snow is now king in the north and actually has a better claim to the Iron Throne than Danny. That's if his parentage actually gets out and is proven. As they are destined to march either into battle or into bed with each other. This is the Song of Ice and Fire after all. The dragon does have three heads and here we have two of them. But what if there's a missing part of the Tower of Joy scene, something we have yet to see yet. Where a grieving Ned holding one child in his arms is then presented with a second. He's presented with twins. And that, that this second child is a girl, a sister. That was brought up none other than fellow Tower of Joy survivor Howland Reed. At the end of the day, this video is about HBO's Game of Thrones, so my hopes of the books are somewhat different, but that's a tale for another time. So when will Jon actually find out about his parentage? Well, it just so happens that Bran is on his way back through the wall. I think it's only a matter of time before these half-brothers meet again, and then the tale can be told to Jon, so he finally finds out who his mother is. But the question is, does Bran really know who his father is? Would he surmise that he's Rhaegar Targaryen, or would this other vision confirm it somehow? I for one believe that Rhaegar is his father. It's pretty much proven there, otherwise Lyanna would not tell Ned. If Robert finds out, he'll kill him. You have to protect him, promise me Ned. Only a child of Rhaegar Targaryen would be in such difficulties that would need protection of Ned Stark. So the fires of theory grow cold for now. Gather your furs, down your swill and saddle your steeds. For I am the Northlander, and remember, you know nothing, and neither do I. Comment, like and subscribe for more, you bastards. And I hope that you all enjoy.